Olá. I doing a swimply rating. Um, so I've been having a tough spiritual journey and I'm kind of over it. I'm over my spiritual journey. It's been hell for me. I don't see how my gifts have awakened, my you know, intuition, my intuitiveness. This is trying to move attachment. Interesting. Being intuitive, like you know, medium and all that stuff awaken. But as I look at my life, I have been at the bottom of the totem pole my entire spiritual journey. Like living on couches, sleeping on people's couches, living in other people's houses, being moving from state to state, tight income. Um, I mean, I've had my time, so I, you know, I've flourished, but most of it has been like extreme level of lack and extreme isolation. And I want my life back, so I probably, I don't know if I'm going to be doing readings anymore. But I'm really um, just over this spiritual journey, and I don't like what it is to me. It's kind of I'm kind of broken hearted about it because you know when I do something, I go full force. I put my all into it, and I gave my life to this journey. Literally, like I quit my job. I it, it's so many things, and I gave my life to it. And I feel like I didn't get my life back. I feel like I'm worse off than I, I'm, I'm worse than than I've ever been. Do I have a nice thing? Do I have a nice home to move into? Yes. Do I have anything to put into it? No. It's like, what was the point for this? I don't feel like my life has been made better. So, I won't be doing readings for a while because I'm not in this space. I'm broken hearted. And I'm not in this space to give advice. I, I mean, even though I just did a few really good readings for people who requested them, to get those out the way before I just take my hiatus, hiatus from doing readings. So I'm gonna start this reading, this twin flame reading, off with some color and numerological or geometrical messages. Um, they trying to come, they're trying to come. Okay, so I'll take this one. Lots of red showing. All three red cards came out. So we have, try again. So with this red, um, you got resurrection right under there. So with this red reversing, it's like saying try again. So spirit is telling us, and the fact that all three of these cards are red is about hard work and dedication. It's putting your hard work towards something and being dedicated. We have A here, we have three here, and we have two here. We know that A is about restoration, and all of this is red, so it's material. This is about material. So, although this is a spiritual reading, we know that balance is spiritual and balance is physical. So material and the spiritual. So this is about material, extreme material balance, extreme material action I have the word action right there on my um board so it's like putting in the effort towards something and working very hard and that's the energy i'm in because when you're at the bottom when you hit rock bottom you have no other choice than to work hard or die so can't die so i have to work hard so anyway here is like the eight is restoration the eight is it can be like resurrection in the material room i just read Joanne scribes. I, I think I looked up the number 27? No. 20, it was a number. I forgot what number it was. But when you add the number together, it was 8. I think it was 26. But this is like restoration. This could be resurrection. This could be material blessings. Fame. But this is things manifesting in the material realm. From your creations. So 3 is the number of creation. So it's like, restoration comes from your creative endeavors, putting you in a place where you can begin again or start again. But it's like, your creative endeavors brings restoration, brings resurrection, 
brings equilibrium with the two here. So it brings you back to balance. So if you're an extreme material that, like me, I mean, I mean, I, I, I can't say that completely, but you know, when you're in material lack or you're, you're lacking in a material realm, this is extremely um, being blessed or being recovered from that. That's what I was mad about my spiritual journey because, you know, the Bible says, follow me, blah, blah, blah. I'll give you life and I'll, you know, where is it? Well, you know, if it doesn't happen, then it was a lie and I was misled. So, but it's about recovery and being recovered from the things that you sacrificed, your hard work paying off, being recovered from a place of lack. Then you have the two, which means, you know, it's balance, it's bringing things together, it's union, it's harmony. So harmony is restored after, you know, a period of time. But once you put in your hard work and dedication into something, harmony is restored. Then eight plus three plus two, we have eight and five here. Five is the number of change, eight is recovery. Change brings recovery, but also eight and five is 13, and 13 is four. Four is the number of, again, foundation. Like it makes me think of emperor vibes, being on a solid, stable, secure foundation. And I don't think I've been secure in my entire spiritual journey, not financially, not, um, not even in my home like you know when i wrote my book the war on your money chapter seven my favorite chapter protect your pockets it's about protection of your physical access or protection of your money instead of giving all of your money retaining some of that but it teaches you tools to retain some of that money and to win the war on your money and to restore from the eight is restoration and chapter eight is restoration but in that chapter i talk about physiological needs chapter seven and when your physiological needs are not being met, you get into an energy of, you can be desperate, but you get into an energy of survival. When spirituality is about thriving, but you can't thrive until, if you're still in a low level energy of survival. Survival is a human instinct. And when your survival is being attacked, your ability to provide electric, water, food, housing, adequate housing, and then safety needs is next on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So when your physiological and your safety needs are not being met, how can you even make it to esteem? How can you make it to self-actualization when you're fighting to survive? So I definitely recommend the war on your money. Click the link in my description. It's on ashleygiller.com. I definitely upload it to Amazon and the other platforms as well but I recommend you get it from me <laughs> because I make more when I sell it on my site. I just dropped a lot of cards. But you get the red door to value. This is value here. Value being restored. You know I've been in the energy of telling spirit don't talk about it, be about it. Because I see angel numbers all damn day every day. I look them up and it's good messages and good things to hear or things that I need to do. I don't want to hear that shit no more. Don't talk about it, be about it. So, this is some oracle. I don't mean to be negative. I'm not being negative. But I'm just at the point. It could be the retrograde talking to. But, you know, reflecting on my journey, I just realized I'm worse off. And, and I don't like that. Yes, I have intuitive, intuitive gifts. Yes, I'm a medium. I can talk to the dead um, in dreams. But has it helped me? I don't know that it has helped me. Um, maybe it's something I don't see. We have the thinking woman. On the bottom of the deck, we have storm warning. We have all tied up. And we have door to value. Definitely I'm influenced in this reading. So with... Okay. I knew door to value. Remember, I showed you guys that earlier. I knew it wanted to come out. So it's like, you know, you know, sometimes when you see like the eight of swords or this tied up energy, it's like the bindings are loose, the spirit says. The bindings are loose. The spirit says a lot of stuff that is just not, that's not practical in the physical realm. Like spirit, I get spiritual messages. Go ahead and move and do this and I have a dream 
you know, or whatever. And I'm like, how? You know? How? I have done all that I could. How? So anyway, sometimes when we're in this energy of feeling all tied up, you have adequate reason to feel that way. It's like a storm or going through a storm. But this is saying, and I'm feeling in my heart, this is saying the storm is over. And the song that just came in my head is the gossip song. It's over now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The storm is over now. That song. Sorry, I missed some of the words. <laughs> it's over now. Anyway. So basically it's saying, and I'm going to listen to that before I go to bed. You know, maybe I won't cry myself to sleep today. But anyway, it's like saying the storm is over. Everything is going to work out. The storm is over. And the door to value is here. The door to value is to begin. The door to value is to create. The door to value is to work hard and be dedicated. The door to value is leading to recovery, full recovery, you know. The thing about that though is in the spiritual path, we didn't, we weren't primates. When, sorry, my computer started messing up. On a spiritual path, you weren't promised recovery. You were promised resurrection. So you were promised as a spiritual being on a spiritual journey, more life. What is the point of going on a spiritual journey if you're worse off than where you were? You might as well have kept doing what you were doing because in the physical reality, you were doing well. So if you were so if you were doing well and you were sacrificed it all for the spiritual journey and then it just takes you to worse or to doing well, what the fuck was the point? I could have kept doing well and progressed. So expect this is what I expected for my spiritual journey. It's beyond my capabilities before. Becoming one with spirit and moving beyond my capabilities not just back to where I was beyond so anyway door to value is about new beginnings and finance and career this card shows a door with the gold coin money coins and jewels towards you through the open door revealing a golden city beyond at this point the potential for exciting new beginnings are expansions where work or money are concerned a new opportunity comes that's totally unexpected something that you've been working towards for quite a while. Either way, keep your eyes open for new beginnings to appear in your life. Know that anything you value may be open to you now. Remain conscious and creative and get ready to step through the door. Take that as it resonates. For me, I don't know if I am in an energy of faith or hope right now. But it's saying, you know, if you would like to expect new beginnings, new beginnings are available to you. Yeah, it's like, what's in here? Money is in here. Coins, gold, fruits, you know, abundant gold. It looks like gold there, but, um, you know, the plants are flourishing. So, an unexpected new beginning comes, and it may require you to work very hard. How do I feel about it? You guys know how I feel about it. I'm feeling some kind of way. So, if it happens, it happens. I'm tired of, you know what we tell spirit. Don't talk about it be about it if it's true and you resonate with this tell spirit <laughs> you don't have to tell spirit but i'm telling spirit don't talk about it be about it you keep telling me this new beginning is coming but it hasn't happened and my life is in shambles so it's like i don't want to hear this shit unless it's really happening don't talk about it be about it mm, i'm gonna leave it there anyway one thing that i wish i had three months ago that would I wouldn't be in this energy is my book the war on your money and I would I would be so much better off right now had I downloaded that information three months ago but everything happens for a reason it's, it's available to you now it's available to me now ashleygillard.com a-s-h-l-e-y-g-u-i-l-l-a-r-d.com the ebook is available now the paperback is available for pre-order i have to submit the order to amazon i submitted the paperback for approval today it'll be approved by tomorrow morning and i'm going to order the book so if you want to if you're watching this video order as soon as possible so that you can be on the list of the people the first people to get the paperback thank you for watching i wish you love like and more life